Yo, what is good boys, and welcome back to another video of Veteran. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the cave system, and uh, we're gonna go into a cave and show you it. So, let's go ahead and hop in. Alright, we've got a bear just attacking us randomly. Let's just go ahead and kill them. Alright, so this is the start of a cave. So, on the map, if you uh, scroll out, zoom in, whatever, you're going to see little cave markers. It's these ones right here, and if you don't have them enabled, you go in the top right, and you go ahead and enable them. So you walk over here. The start of the cave isn't going to be very uh, crazy, so press G, and you can pull out a lantern. Some tips here and there is what we're going to try to help you with. So right now, we actually have a steel pickaxe, and that's not what you're going to be starting off with. Um, as still is definitely not a, uh, easy, uh, well, it's not hard to get, but it's not easy as well. So, you have to watch out for these mobs. Uh, when you're a new player, these mobs might actually do a little bit more damage than you think. Um, but yeah, right here, uh, let's see, that's it. Nope, tin ore, skip tin ore. Don't even get it, uh, you, you, anything that you can make with tin isn't going to be worth making. Or that's my experience, and what you're going to be wanting to look for is going to be iron ore. And you do not have to go far down to achieve iron ore. You're going to want to make sure that you do have pots, because uh, these enemies actually do hit hard. So you want to get this right here. Get as many of these as possible, and they're actually pretty common. Um, and the reason why is because that's what you're going to be using for higher tier gear, and you can get them really early on. There we go. Alright, oops. Now, you want to get Amethius as well. Why? There's no reason why. You want to get all of these gems, and they're going to work out for you in the future. You want to always look forward to the future. So, whenever you see a gem, definitely grab it. One, it'll... What you can also do... And I should have mentioned that at the start is get as many, um, like just mine everything. And the reason why is because you want to level up your, uh, stuff to the max. So right now you press P, you go to mining, and as you can see, I'm maxed out. And it only takes 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 skill points in total. So level 18, you're going to be maxed out in mining. So, you get XP pretty easily just by mining everything. So, even though I'm, like, maxed out right now, I like to help uh, new players. So, I'm going to grab a lot of this iron ore um, as we go because it helps out in the long run. So, we got some topaz. So, topaz is good for um, making, I think, rings and necklaces, which is what you're going to need uh, early on unless you get it from a... Uh, dungeon or something along those lines so let's see oh wow we have quite a few enemies here go ahead and annihilate them and all of these uh enemies actually drop a uh, useful uh object so like the sharp well not the sharp things uh the skills right here are useful animal hide is always useful i have like an unlimited amount of uh leather scraps Anyway, so Topaz. Let's see, it seems like Topaz is the most common for us right now. We're kind of like early into the uh, mine. That's some copper, we don't need that, but we do need iron. Iron, a unlimited amount. So, Velorite is really good. Um, I don't necessarily think Velorite specifically is very good, but Velorite Fragments, which you're going to be able to find as well, is very good. And the reason why is because they help make medium potions. So those uh, 30 um, healing potions that we got from the Witch's Hut, we can utilize into the Cauldron and make a higher tier potion. Just pretty good. So these are the Velomite Fragments right now. I've got tons of them, if I'm correct got uh, 102 of them and we're just gonna collect more and more and more pretty easy uh pretty nice so definitely grab them if you see them now i'm trying to see if we can find some cool stuff this video is going to be a little bit longer so if you're trying to figure out something specific about mining uh you can go ahead and skip around because i'm gonna try to go over everything uh, 
Also, you can get some really rare items from uh, this area. So rubies are expensive. So always make sure you grab them. Um, whether you use them or not, um, or if you sell them, you're going to make profit no matter what, right? Because profit isn't defined by a coin amount or anything like that. It's something that benefits you. And that's going to benefit you. So you're, you're going to want this coal right here. So this coal is very useful. Ah, get out of here, bro. This rock snapper, how dare you. So that hard carapace is also useful. So grab that. So you got coal. So coal helps smelt iron into steel. And then coal is also used for cobalt as well, if I'm correct. And that's going to be for your cobalt armor, which is going to be like your tier 3 armor is what I define as. You get emerald in the ruby that we just got. That's going to be for your high end armor, like uh, the Uri armor, which is what I have right now. This is like the highest tier of armor that you can get currently uh, through crafting. And I think you can get better armor through dungeoning, which is what a lot of people do. Got some more topaz. Uh... That kind of explains everything up to a point. You always want to get that coal. Make sure you get that coal. Iron ore is useful. Uh, topazes, emeralds, and rubies and sapphires are going to be very useful. So make sure you grab those. So let's go ahead and explore deeper. Because now we're, we've gotten to the point where I can... Um, oh, you can get cobalt as well. So cobalt is going to be that blue ore. I don't think we've ran into any yet. Um, but there's two different ways to get cobalt, so definitely take advantage of that. We are not dying yet. Come on. Why did that dude just fly towards me? I don't know what happened there, but it's okay. Look at that. There we go. Nice. Plenty of uh, little hard carapace here, which I tend to make that armor and then just give it away. Because it's a very, it's kind of like a low tier armor. Uh, but it's high tier enough that you can start going into the mines and pretty much be fully independent. Which is something that you want to do. Because the mines are definitely going to be a kind of like a place where you want to be in a party with your allies when you go through it. I personally can solo a lot of the game at this point and I've only been playing for a few days. So this plate is going to be for primal and for our... Uh, the Uri armor, which is what I showed you. So, get plate. It's going to be useful. And then this is going to be cobalt. Cobalt gives you 15 XP, which is a good amount. And it's good for cobalt armor, obviously. Um, let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. And let's move forward. Uh, hopefully this is helpful, so please tell me if it is in the comments. Uh, make sure I'm recording. <laughs> uh, okay. So, probably the moment that we've all been waiting for, we're getting really close to it, is where do you get diamonds, where do you get gold, where do you get silver, where do you get um, blood still, and stuff like that. So, we're actually getting very close, and that's going to be the next segment here. Let me go ahead and kill these guys, because they're going to follow me the whole way, so I might as well. And free XP. There we go. Uh, so, you know, we do use all classes. We're kind of learning the healing class, because uh, it's pretty different doesn't really work for me, I don't know why. Like, the actual healing ability doesn't work, but we'll figure that out with time. So, right now I'm using the two-hand sword, and you may be wondering, well, why are you using that? It's the fastest weapon in the game, from what I've seen and I've been told. You want to get troll hide, so you're going to run into these enemies that drop troll hide, and you can make an 18-slot pack. Now, there's multiple different ways to make these giant um, slot packs, um, but this is this is probably the easiest or laziest way if you're just grinding to get the materials and stuff like that. Um, but there's different materials you can grind for just to upgrade your already having packs, the packs that you already have. So these guys are going to be a little bit stronger, but if you kill them, you can get really rare items, which is going to be uh, the what Emerald Scepter and the Malachite Axe. So you want to you wanna definitely kill these dudes. Uh, if you're able to. So these, ooh, let's kill this guy and then I'll explain what those are that we just saw. Those little glowing blocks. Those must be good, right? So we got a brute hammer. We're not going to pick it up. So these is where you're going to find diamonds. So a lot of people define them as blue. 
uh, glowing blocks. For me, they look green. So as you can see, we got bloodstone ore, which is how you make blood steel. You get 20 XP from it, which is really good. So that's that's blood steel, as you can see. Pretty exciting, right? So let's see. I don't think we're going to get lucky enough to get a diamond and show you uh, what the diamonds look like. I hope so, but low hopes. I want to get like a big spot, so we're going to have to take this back out. Take it right because cobalt sounds good. Um, there we go. Nice, this is a good deep one. I'm gonna start at the back here. And you kind of want to aim for the bottoms here and hope we get something good, right? I actually don't care for this zoomed in perspective, so I understand if it frustrates anyone. And we absolutely got nothing there. That sucks. What is this, coal? There. Maybe we'll get lucky and get something here. Like I said, you might want to skip until you see what we get. This is where you're going to get diamonds, um, blood, ore, and gold and silver. It's not really uncommon, but it seems to be uncommon from my perspective, I guess. Trust me when I say it is not very uncommon. As I've gotten full Ori and it's only been a few days, so excited to say that. Alright. So we've actually got quite a few enemies here. We're gonna go ahead and take out the little casters first if we can. That's the first time I've gotten that. That should look really cool. Nice, there we go. We got some more troll hide, so that was scary. Didn't know if I was gonna die, and there's a lot of enemies here. If you can see them, you can see them. There's like a lot of enemies here. But thankfully we're kinda like we attack attack one at a time. There we go, heal up a little bit. Thankfully, we did bring a lot of pods that we grinded with us. See, there's three more enemies here, and we of course have two mages right next to each other. How scary is that? Let's see if we can't um, heal up. There we go. There we go. We got a fragment. That's nice. Oh, uh, it would be really cool if we did get like a rare item here. Alright, we got the aura, which is really cool. It's a, um, oh wait, no, it's not. I thought it was a flying thing. Alright, well, nothing cool. I mean, kind of cool, right? Alright, so we might be able to get something good here. There's a lot. Oh, we got a diamond! Right off the bat. So this is what the diamond's gonna look like. Go ahead and pick that, and voila! So diamonds cost the most in the game when it comes to, uh, material. We got some more bloodstone. Maybe we'll get some, uh, gold and show you that. Looks like we got some gold right here. So, bam, bam. Looks pretty awesome. And we got some silver as well, with a really good spot. As I said, it's not, like, crazy uncommon to get, like, a bunch of, uh, material. At first it may seem, oh no, I'm not getting anything, but once you hit like a really good big patch like this, you're gonna just find a lot of different fragments, or ores, or anything. So you just gotta have hope and try your best. That was pretty nice, so let's go ahead and do this one, and then we'll finish it off, and hopefully this helped uh, anyone. Yeah, we got 
got some bloodstone and silver. Very nice. Alright, well, anyway, I hope this you enjoyed this, and if you did, definitely hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and thank you so much for watching this far. Alright, I'll see you later.